Ah, a necromancer. We're back here, back to Fat Rogue Sandix, and we're playing some more Ethereum. I hope you're enjoying this series. It's a fun game. I'm really enjoying it. And if you are, show your support by booming on that like button. If this is your first time on the channel, then you get the ba boom, the double boom, by booming on that subscribe button. That's the best one. It helps me out, helps you out, and I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much and I care for you. And I want to make sure you know of the love of Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus and you don't have him in your heart, send me a message. Let's talk about it. Because I care. I really do. All right. So, as far as Antherion goes, let's dive down this hallway and see what's left. Let's see what we got. We're all saved up and ready to go. This is that one door. But we do have the key to a chest now. I think this is it. Boom. Look at that. Fat loots. Fat loots indeed. Now, was there a way we didn't go? There is. So we're going to go check it out real quick. Because we want all the XPs that we can get because we need them. We need the XPs. And it just goes to a barrel. Of which had some food in it. That's important. Alright, so now that we've fully explored the dungeon, we shall move back aboard on land, dry land and try to sneak past the berserkers. Oh, it's night time. Do berserkers sleep at night? Apparently not. Alright, so let's save it right before we sleep. Uh, I think we save it here. Yeah. Cave 2. It seems we're in battle. And we've already skipped the archers, the mages' turn. Do we have a mage? I don't see one. Them berserkers got some serious range, don't they? Goodness. Boom! Oh! Alright, so now. Yes! Yes! Let's give you some love, because that kind of hurts. There we go. Boom! Change your mind, did you? Want a little bit of love action, did you? How'd you like that? We don't put up with this crap. Oh, we got an orc gear. It's so gross. Let's take another one. What's in here? Ooh, chicken bones. Really, dude? You're such a minner. Such a weenie. Uh, let's see. Alright, we'll put the wine on the orc. That ought to free you up. Goodness. And we'll select the orc. That is one thing I find irritating that it always defaults to him. Uh, I wish I could change their formation too. That'd be nice. Did we, did we loot this? We did. You know, you think we'd be able to loot this. 
Unlocked, yay! So we got some extra men. Oh, this is all the area. That sucks. How are we supposed to get crab meat? Alright, well let's go south and see what we can find. Let's fill in the map here, make sure we did everything. We took out them berserkers. He wanted some vintage wine, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think we ever bought it. Hmm. You won't buy it now. Everything's closed. How am I supposed to get crap? Anyway, let's see what Eternal says here. Alright, so um, let's do the Mysterious Ear. Let's go turn that in and see what happens. Do to do to do. Do to do. Maybe it's daytime and they're just complaining about the rain. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, I'm learning to save before every conversation. Pays off. We have something to show you. Maru must have sent you here, am I right? Yes, Maru sent us. It's just as I feared. This ear that you brought me is a necrophil ear. It constitutes clear and convincing evidence that necrophil were indeed behind the incident at Shadowbrook. There is an ancient text that I believe may shed some light on this situation. Why would necrophil want to destroy the town of Shadowbrook? Necrophils are magically summoned creatures and don't want anything. They lack autonomy. Necrophils do as they're told by their summoners, at least in most cases. Sightings of necrophils have been on the rise recently. The council has begun to fear the armies of necrophils have been amassing and are waiting for orders to overrun Ethereum's major cities. Waiting for orders from who? That's the real question now, isn't it? Luckily, I know of an ancient text which may hold answers. It's called the Codex. It's buried deep within a dungeon just north of the Sterling. Retrieving the Codex will be no easy task. The dungeon is dungeon it sits in is filled with the brim of all man for undead abominations. While four condemned criminals wouldn't exactly be my first choice to carry out such a task, the gods saw fit to intertwine our past, and only a fool would dare with the gods will dare will against the gods. Find the codex and bring it back to me here. Yes, you will. And seeing how this is your first time outside of a dungeon in many years, you may desire to build up your strength a little bit before going in to search for the codex. Perhaps working a few odd jobs about town will sharpen your skills a bit. What else you got? Uh, tell us about yourself. I have not the point. Oh, such pettiness. Tell us about the necrophil. The necrophil are magically summoned. Why was the Institute of Wizardry shut it down? We're going too far into history. Let's just say one of the wizards were starting to get a little overzealous. Okay. And that would be that. All right. What, what you got there, barkeep? What you got? Mm, nothing I want to pay for. All right. So we got food. I, uh... I actually stumbled upon the uh, the dungeon already, and I was exploring it off camera, trying to get some XP. Well, it just didn't turn out so well. Uh, I ended up having to flee. Didn't have any food. Didn't have any health. We got pretty far down in it. Now, the question is, is if they don't respawn up here, do they respawn in the dungeons? See, it was here. You can see, see where the blood is? So I've been here. But we might as well just go ahead and give it another round to see if, see if we missed anything. Ain't gonna hurt. I believe it was this way. 
This is multiple floors in this dungeon, so we'll have to keep going until we find the way down. I think it was this way. There were a few locked doors that we couldn't get into. I think it's this way. Yeah, see? We've been here. And then we were in here. And not all these doors. See, that one's locked. Not all these doors could be opened. Now, if I remember right, some of them were locked. I think this one's locked too. Yeah. Can't unlock them if you ain't got keys. See that went to there. There was a, a place of lore where the lore, our lore wasn't high enough. And it still isn't. See, I killed all these skeddies. I killed them all. That doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. And then we were in here. All right. So then we had this area up here, and then we had this door down here. And this one's locked. We could try. Looks like we got into a storage room. So let's click this person. Boom, boom. Oh, let's give that to... Uh... Yeah, let's give that to her. Look at there, a plain robe. Now who's not wearing a plain robe? We'll give it to her. There we go, a peasant outfit. And more stuff, even steel. Good stuff indeed. All right. Got a barrel here. Oh, look at the money in that puppy. Let's see, we got a left. Oh, see, we got a skelly. Let's give him some old fireball at the butt. Oh, we fizzled. Boom. Guessing you fizzled because you were behind. It was around the corner. Yeah. That makes sense. Alright. So see, you only get these little random one one spot scalies like that, see. We'll take that. And we gotta put it back on you. Uh, let, let, I don't like you being hurt like that. Let's give you a little help. There we go. Alright, so we got this room. Let's keep going. And we come to another split. All kinds of splits, man. Sheesh. What's that? Oh, so we have a door. This doesn't look good. Necromancer. Well, that's the first thing we'll take out. Really? <laughs> Fifty four percent chance that we hit. That is not good. Oh, there's a rat, too. Oh, wow. Let's see if we can hit this guy with some fire. He's got a lot of hit points. Let's see. We'll run. I am, I am perfectly okay with running. Oh, now he polymorphed us. 
He turned us into a pig. I guess all a pig can do is run. I hit you with a stick. Oh, wow. This just got really ugly. I was not prepared for this. I was not prepared for this at all. Let's see. I don't think I have enough. Oh, we're back. We might survive if we can take out the necromancer. Uh, mm, we got a little bit in there. Oh. Oh, he confused him. Ow. Ow. I don't think... All right, we can do this. And then we can do this. Boom! Okay, so now it's just a matter of killing the skellies and stuff. Uh, let's give our good friend some heal here. All right, so who do we take out first? Let's try this one. There's 12. Ow. 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 Oh, it sounds like somebody got her. That's a shame. That's a real shame. So he must be confused. Yep. All right, so we got a little healing here. Let's give it to, let's give it to her. What's attacking you, a rat? Goodness, it must be the rat. Now we're going to give it to you because you're doing the best. Oh, you're you're playing tank, man. Oh, 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 oh. And you missed. Ow. Ow. we have enough to heal you? No! Can we give that to you? We sure can. We can give. No. We can give that to you. Okay, so now. Actually, let's put this down here. Let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five. Ow, that rat is mean. All right, and then we'll go here. We'll put this here. And then we'll hit eight. And then we'll start coming this way. And you might as well come down here and hit something with a stick too. One, two, three, four, five, six. We almost got the skelly down. You're out of here. Boom. Yay! Yay! We made it! He had a rock. Nothing in there. That necromancer didn't drop anything. Isn't that something? So all we got is a rock. All we got was a rock. Huh. Alright, well let's fill in the map here. 
don't want any questions. There is a door up here, so we'll check it out in a minute. There's a door here, too. There better be some fat loose in here. That's just how like, look, it goes upstairs. So that goes back to where we started. Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to rest. Sheesh. All right. Now we're going to save it. We'll save it over the butcher. Because we almost got butchered. Yep. All right. So we don't know where that door goes. So let's leave it the way it is. And we'll go up like this. Oh, I feel like that ought to be a magic a secret or something. That's just weird. We got some trash. And a fish. Really? That's all that was in here? Hmm. And then there was another turn at the beginning. Yeah, down here. What we got here? We got a poor little skelly. Ooh, an unidentified item. And then you take this and this. Let's see. Lore 40. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Alright, well, at least we got the goodie. Why, do, why does it say we can't go back there? There we go. That's better. All right, and then, yeah, that was it. So, let's go see where this goes. We are the champions. We killed the Necro, which was really nasty. Look at all the gold. Wow. Something's going to happen and we're going to lose it all. I can feel it. I can feel it. Storyline is going to happen and we're going to lose every bit of this. The Codex. Alright, so let's look at this Codex. Ever since the murder of my beloved King Mallory, Uniter of the Kingdom, at the hands of his own son, and now King Zevert, the kingdom of Vantherion has been ravaged by political turmoil. Zevert's first act as king was to dissolve the council. His second was to sell off large chunks of the kingdom to rich noblemen who promptly enslaved many of their inhabitants. The order was a collective of adept magical enthusiasts who for centuries collaborated in secret to tame and refine their arcane magical knowledge. Zevert quickly became aware of the order's existence through the network of spies and immediately swore to neutralize them. Many of his members were killed by Zevra's forces, but others fled deep into the depths of long-forgotten caverns. Some of the more masterful wizards even managed to magically construct artificial planes of existence to escape off into. In response, Zevra began what would become known as the Great Purge, sending his men from city to city, town to town, to hunt down every last wizard. And that... Oh man. Wonder where that went. Oh well. And there you go, guys. I'm gonna bore you guys with the long walk back. This has been the Fat Rogue Saturday next. I want you to enjoy your day, enjoy your life. Keep on gaming, y'all. And may God bless you. You know he loves you. Over now. Yeah.